This is a quick video over pulleys. Now before I get started, all a pulley is is a wheel. It's just a wheel with a rope around it. And for most college and high school physics classes, usually the pulleys are massless. So their masses are usually zero and they generate no friction. So they usually are frictionless. So frictionless and massless. So before we really get going on pulleys, let's say you, you have two ropes, and you have two people. You have one person that's a hundred kilograms. And you also have another person that is a hundred kilograms. So what would you think of? or what would the forces be on each one of these ropes? So if we remember that force is equal to the mass times the acceleration, and we're going to assume the acceleration of Earth is equal to 10 meters per second squared, so then the force would be equal to 100 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, and that is a thousand Newtons? Yeah, it's a thousand newtons because a thousand newtons is equal to a thousand kilograms per meter second squared. So with conversions, you get kilograms to kilogram meters second squared into newtons because a newton is equal to a kilogram meter second squared. So these are both the the top of these ropes fill a force of a thousand newtons a thousand newtons and so does this one a thousand newtons they both feel that the both of these ropes feel a thousand newtons but this roof feels a total force of two thousand newtons so the roof feels a total force of two thousand newtons now I want to ask you what would you think would happen if if we cut these ropes and instead put a pulley here. Would it affect what this rope feels as a force? This person is still applying that thousand newtons, that thousand newton force, and this person is also feeling that thousand newton force, or causing that thousand newton force on the rope. So this rope, even though it's on a pulley, still only feels that thousand newton force. And even though this single rope, this single rope, is holding up two people who have a total for have, that are each combining a force of a thousand newtons to each side of this pulley, overall the rope, throughout the entire rope, only feels a force of a thousand newtons. However, this this rope, our beam right here, feels that force of two thousand newtons. So that force of 2,000 newtons. Now, we all, if you've ever really played around with ropes and stuff and threw it over a tree, you notice that the person that weighs more pulls it this way. And this person goes up if they weigh less. So if they had different, maybe this was 120 and this was 80 kilograms, it would go that way. Or if it was the opposite, where this was 80, 80 kilograms, it would go this way. So whichever one weighs more pulls the other person up. Or if the other person weighs more, they get pulled up and pulled down. But the really important thing is to note is that the rope itself only feels the one force. So let's go over here. We have a pulley and we have a, a 10 kilogram sphere. What does this this have to weigh for this to stay stationary? Well, for this not to move, for this system not to move, this one must weigh 10 kilograms. And the reason it must weigh 10 kilograms is so that the force, the force on this side is equal to the force on this side. And for this case, if you did the math, you'd see that this force was 100 newtons, and this force was also 100 newtons. And the total force that this rope up here felt was 200 newtons. 
So even though, again, this rope is holding up 200 or 20 kilograms of mass, it only fills a force throughout it of 100 newtons. But when it combines, when this pulley combines their forces, it combines to 200 newtons. So this rope up here, this green rope all the way up here, fills that 200 newtons. So let's say we did it upside down. What would the force of this rope feel and this rope feel? You might be tempted to say that it's a hundred newtons, because again, this this mass is pulling it down with a force of a hundred newtons. So you might be tempted to say this is a hundred and this is a hundred, but it's not the case because it's the same idea as it was up at the top, but we see that it doubled the force. So this way, it would cut the force in half. So this would have a force of 50 newtons on it, and this would have a force of 50 newtons on it. So you can think of it like this. When you're trying to pull something up, you're trying to pull something up, something heavy, and you're pulling something, and someone else is pulling something, it's always lighter when you have two people pulling it instead of this one person. So it's always lighter when you have two people pulling instead of one. If you tried to pull it up all by yourself, you would have the entire force. So when you have two people pulling, they split the force. That's what a pulley does. It splits the force in half. So let's say you combine the forces. Let's say, I mean, not forces, but you combine this pulley system with this pulley system. So what's the force on this rope? What does it need to be? So, or really, what does this mass need to be to hold up this 10 kilograms? What mass, what does this need to be to prevent this from going downwards? So to find that out, we first need to find out what's the force due to this 10 kilograms. And that is a hundred newtons. So this is due to a hundred newtons. So if we broke that force in half, this would be 50 newtons and 50 newtons. This part right here, this part right here, if we just look at that, that is the exact same thing as this. But that's not our complete system. Now, what does this force need to be? So what does this need to have a force of? This needs to have a force of 50 newtons. This system is the same thing as this system. If this is 100 newtons, then this needs to be 100 newtons. So this needs to be, this needs to be 50 newtons as well. And notice, throughout this rope, it has a force of only 50 newtons throughout it. So this only needs to be, this mass needs to only be 5 kilograms. So we have a total mass of 15 kilograms that this pulley system is holding up. That means if we multiplied it by the acceleration due to Earth, that would be a total of 150 newtons. So do we have 150 newtons being pulled down from the ceiling? Is this 150 newtons? Well, this is pulling it down with 50 newtons, and this is pulling it down with 50 newtons plus 50 newtons, so 100 newtons. So this has a total force of 150 newtons. The ceiling feels a force of 150 newtons pulling it completely down. And right here, these two kilogram, these two spheres are pulling it down with a force of 150 newtons. So our math worked out.